Well, hello there, friend. Andrew Najera here at Drew Installs Hardware. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today we are installing an automatic door bottom and a hollow metal door. I love installing these. They seal the gap on the bottom of the door, giving you a nice tight seal for weather or for sound. So as we watch this install video together, I'm going to give you my top three tips for installing any automatic door bottom, whether it's a wood door, a metal door, surface mount, concealed mount, whatever. So let's get to it. For tip number one, we first need to understand how the automatic door bottoms are put together. Here in this pick, you're gonna kind of see how they're built. We have an outer case, or we have a case or housing and then you have a drop bar and also then thirdly you have an actuating plunger so tip number one stay with me here it's going to be cut it to the right length and there is a lot more to that tip than it sounds but you gotta cut it to the right length uh, because when you look at the pick we need to cut the drop bar shorter than the outer case or the housing okay that drop bar needs to be just a little bit shorter than the case that's holding it. That's going to let it move freely up and down. Now, when you unpack these before you cut them, you're going to notice that the drop bar is already a little shorter uh, than that case that it comes in. So the way you make sure it stays shorter is that you hold on the side that you're going to cut it on. You hold the outer case and the drop bar even cut it to your measurement and that makes sure that drop bar stays shorter and it's going to work good every time it'll move up and down smoothly so tip number two now tip number two has to do with how you screw the automatic door bottom off now how you install that screw it can either help the door bottom to operate smoothly or it can cause you problems so when we saw that picture earlier, I might show it again. You see that outer case is shaped like a U, right? So if you were to angle your screws in such a way that that U shape would start to get pinched, it's going to make it harder for that drop bar uh, to drop down. So tip number two is to angle the screw slightly out to spread that U shape, giving the drop bar lots of space to move. And it's also going to let you, uh, uh, Another tip here is to also test it with each screw that you put in because sometimes you might not might not realize your screw is a little off and it's going to hold your bar up. And so, uh, yeah, you do not want that to happen. Tip number three. Wow, we're already in tip number three. It has to do with the automatic door bottom operation. So listen, if it's not operating smoothly on its side, like uh, when you're installing it here off when it's not swinging it is not going to magically start working better when you swing the door so tip number three is before you swing the door make sure it's working smoothly now you may need to hold your hand under the bar near the plunger to simulate the floor uh, location because a lot of these it's the floor hitting the floor that makes the other side of the uh, drop bar drop down uh, but yeah, make sure that thing is working smoothly before you swing the door. Oh, wow. Thanks so much for sticking around this far. I promised you a bonus tip and here it is. So once that automatic door bottom is installed and working great, uh, before you swing it, screw that actuating plunger all the way in so that during the construction period, the door bottom is not trying to operate. It's not trying to work yet so that the the seals don't get damaged you're only going to adjust that bad boy once everything's all said and done man thanks so much for hanging out thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time